A lot of people come to a whole food plant-based diet wondering, why no oil? Well, we're gonna give you five really good reasons why you should eliminate oil from your diet right away. Here we go. Hey everybody, this is Dylan. This is Reeves. Yes, we eat a healthy whole plant food diet, free of added oil especially, but also really low added salt and sugar compared to a standard American diet. We're not perfect all the time. Sometimes we do eat oil, like if we go out to eat or something like that. But at home with our cooking, it is always totally whole food, plant-based, oil-free eating. There's really nothing beneficial about oil at all, so here are five reasons why. Number one. Oil is really, really calorie dense. Oil turns something like potatoes that are a wonder food into this disgusting vilified food like french fries. <laughs> also, oil's hidden in tons of other products that you'd find at the supermarket. It's pure fat. Oil is nothing but fat. It's concentrated fat taken from whatever it may be, coconuts or olives or flax seeds or whatever. At the end of the day, it's highly processed, pure fat. One tablespoon of oil is like 120 calories of pure fat. That's really crazy because a whole pound of vegetables is only 100 calories. Yeah, it's not the same at all. And there's nothing in oil in that one tablespoon of oil to fill you up. The fiber's been removed. There's nothing really beneficial about it. There are a lot of people out there that talk about, oh, fat isn't what makes you fat. Fat definitely comes from fat. If you eat fat, does that mean that you will get fat? No, of course not. You can eat an amount of fat that doesn't result in your body actually putting on a bunch of extra fat. But most people that get into trouble with obesity and overweight, it's because they're eating a lot of processed fats like oils rather than just focusing on the whole food ingredients. Calorie density just means that for every like bite of food that you put in your mouth, it has X number of calories. Well, oil's really, really high calories for a bite. If you want to learn a little bit more about calorie density, I've got several videos on this channel. Click right here and you can see the most popular one about calorie density and let's move on. Number, Number two. two. As if it being really fattening and calorie dense wasn't bad enough, it's actually harmful to your health. Yeah, there is no way that oil is a health food. Too many people are talking about how oil is a health food and they're just comparing it to the worst standard American diet. Yeah, if you go from a standard American diet to like a Mediterranean diet with olive oil and seafood, you're gonna be doing better than just eating McDonald's every day <laughs> or, or Hamburger Helper or other garbage. But the problem is it still isn't gonna be enough to actually get your health back on track if you're in any sort of trouble. A lot of people are under the assumption that diabetes is caused by excess sugar and oh. while refined sugar of course is really bad in the diet it's actually the fat that is causing the insulin resistance all of the healthy vegan doctors that we follow whether it's McDougal or Ornish Anselston Campbell Barnard Gregor Furman they're all going to come to the same conclusion oil is not a health food it's only gonna cause problems like diabetes and many others and you should eliminate it entirely which brings us to our next point. Number, Number three. So we touched on the fact that it's bad for your overall health, but more importantly, it's really bad for your heart. It is not a heart healthy food. Again, you gotta go back to compared to what? They're always comparing it to the worst diet when they're doing these studies and they say, look, an oil rich diet is healthy. Well, yeah, compared to only hamburgers, <laughs> it might be. Oil clogs your arteries, it clogs your heart, it makes your heart stop and then you die. That is what oil does. It is the worst thing possible that you can do for heart health, especially if you already have any kind of chronic illness. If you remove the oil and clean up your diet really well, there's a chance you could straight up reverse it, but you can't do it with oil, not even a little bit in moderation. I think this is where a distinction between a plant-based diet and a vegan diet can be really important. Yeah, that's a really good point. It is so simple to think that if you just eliminate animal products that you're suddenly going to be way healthier. Oh, eat that Beyond Burger because it does have cholesterol so therefore I'm gonna be really healthy no all the vegan fake foods are junk it is great that you are vegan I am an ethical vegan too but that diet will not get the job done it doesn't go far enough you've really got to take it to the next level a whole plant food diet which brings us to number four Oil is not a whole food. It is really unnatural and highly processed. Yeah, it is straight up just a junk food. It's there to make you like the food more. People like the taste of oil, especially when they're hooked on it, and it totally takes advantage of our body's built-in, evolved mechanisms to seek food. Mm -hmm. In a time when food was very scarce, it wasn't so easy to get 
enough calories to stay alive. So our bodies evolved mechanisms to find things more delicious than other things. If we could get hold of something that was more calorie dense, we would eat that first. So oil is keeping us super addicted. Every little taste we have makes us want a little bit more. And remember how good that bag of chips was the next day when we suddenly find ourselves with another opportunity to stuff ourselves on chips. I did it for years, even when I was vegan, I was very unhealthy. If you just found this way of eating or you've been eating this way for a while and you slip up sometimes, I just want you guys to remember that it's not actually your fault. You're programmed to do that. In our natural history, there was actually no food that you could find in nature that had both sugar naturally and fat naturally occurring at the same time. But nowadays you can get Twinkies and Ho-Ho's and donuts and all of those are like a bomb of all these things at the same time. Mm -hmm. And the salt too. You, I mean, you can put that in and now you've got the three things that our taste buds really are like seeking out, which is the fat and the sugar and the salt. If you want to eat healthy fats and you want to have a rich flavor, focus on the whole fats that we did eat in our natural history. Nuts and seeds, you could have some avocados, you could even do some olives, which do have a lot of added salt, but at least it's better than olive oil. Mm -hmm. You just eat the real olives. Number, Number five. five. Oil is actually, in my opinion, disgusting and impractical to cook with. You have such a good story on this because you actually didn't really cook before. You went right into healthy cooking because you had no experience. I didn't know how to cook. And when I started, I had some olive oil and I remember pouring it in the pan and being like, how much and why? And I only really messed around with that method for like a month till I read the starch solution. And then I was like, oh my God, this is the way to go. Oil splatters all over, it's all over the hood. It collects dust, it's gross. Now it's just so easy. As soon as we're done eating or cooking, I can literally just take a sponge and wipe my plate or pan or whatever clean. And it's like, real. I don't even need soap. If you're a clean freak, this is the cleanest way of cooking. I didn't even see this benefit coming of removing the oil. Mm -hmm. And then when it did come, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we've been doing this for no reason. Read the starch solution, read the Ornish plan, read Dr. Neil Barnard's books about diabetes. Uh, you're gonna have so many questions answered from real prefer I'm not a doctor, don't take my word for it. Not hers either. Dr. Esselstyn's got a great book called Preventing and Reversing Heart Disease. I highly recommend that if you've got any kind of heart challenges mm -hmm. from uh, your, your own natural history in your lifetime. <laughs> if you just came across this video as one of the first videos you've seen, we have tons of videos on our channel of how to cook without oil and saute and bake delicious items. So check those videos out right here. Thanks so much for watching this one. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.